Hello, this is a few piano series of videos about tonal harmony. In this video I'm going to talk about the harmonic series and why it's important to understand consonances and dissonances and the foundation of the major chord. Let's start. The harmonic series is the set of sounds called partials that forms a natural sound called fundamental. Here we can see the harmonic series of a fundamental C1 the lowest C on a piano. If we look at the harmonic series closely, we can observe that the first sounds are at bigger distances or intervals, and that the intervals get gradually smaller. Perfect consonances are close to the fundamental tone. They are the perfect octave, the perfect fifth, and its inversion, the perfect fourth. We find the imperfect consonances just after the perfect consonances, major and minor thirds. Dissonances are the last group, major and minor seconds. The harmonic series is at the base of the tonal system, as we can find the major chord in the first partials. For that reason, the major chord is also called the chord of nature. But if you are thinking about minor chords, there is no natural foundation for them in the first passes of the harmonic series. The use of minor chords and scales is an aesthetical tradition. Nevertheless, some theorists, such as Arlino, wanted to justify minor chords looking into a theoretical inversion of the harmonic series with all the intervals upside down. Here we can see an F minor chord in the descending harmonic series starting on a C7. And before we finish, I want to share with you an interesting effect using the passes of several fundamental tones in a composition. In my piece for piano Nella para Mariano, I ask the performer to press down all the white keys between B-1 and B-1 without any sound, and then play the melody above. The passes of the pressed notes are just released to create a beautiful resonance without using the tempo pedal. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about tonal music, click the subscribe button and don't forget to tick the bell.